Isolation Station. Hello, you lovely lot. A big welcome to the show on this fine Thursday. I'm George Lawton. It's 7pm and this is, of course, the one and only Isolation Station. Before we get too deep into the show, I must disclose that it is, in fact, National Ferret Day. So put your weasels, chinchillas and meerkats down. It's all about the ferrets today. Fun ferret fact, I bet you didn't know that a ferret's normal heart rate is 200 to 250 beats per minute. I might make fun ferret fact of the day a feature, for no other reason than I like the alliteration. Although I think that I may run out of fun ferret facts rather swiftly. Anywho, get in touch with the show, maybe you've got a fun ferret fact. You can reach us at isolation underscore radio on Instagram or on the web at isolation hyphen station dot co dot UK. Barbara Streisand. Barbara Streisand. 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 We've got a top ferret fact in from uh, Marcus. He said, from uh, 1860 to the start of World War II, ferrets were widely used in the American West to protect grain stores from rodents. Who'd have thought it? That was, of course, none other than Duck Sauce, Barbara Streisand. That is an extremely odd tune. I remember Chris Moyles used to do the duck register where he swapped the words Barbara Streisand for the listeners' names. I remember thinking it was the most hilarious thing of all time. I tell you what, nothing beats a bit of plagiarism. Text in your full names on Instagram at isolation underscore radio or the website isolation-station.co.uk and we'll give it a go later on in the show. But for now, James Bay. No, you don't have to wear your best fake smile. Don't have to stand there and burn inside. Oh. the sun in her eyes, but all she gets is ignored. She used to burn it out and get it all back, but now she's slipping, trying to carry the act. She's sweating under the lights, now she's beginning to cry. No, you don't have to wear your best fixed smile, don't have to stand there and burn inside.
James Bay, best fake smile. Marcus has been on again. He says, from uh, 1860 to the start of World War II, James Bay was widely used in the American West to protect grain stores from rodents. Ah, it makes sense. James Bay is notoriously a 160-year-old ferret, so... Isolation Station. Okay, so... Yesterday I got a bit carried away and uh, started rambling on about the automatic of one hit wonder fame monster. In all fairness to me, I thought that it was all rather interesting. We established yesterday that the Welsh band have gone on to have second careers, with the frontman recently graduating from Cardiff Uni with a first class degree in computer science and the uh, bassist studying law. It all just blew my mind a little bit. I like the idea that the fella from the automatic is in a courtroom that just uh, desperately uh, in it de- desperately needs to stall and shout, uh, Your Honour, what's that uh, coming over the hill? Is it a monster? Is it a monster? Before uh, recomposing himself. I mean, come on, that would make an exceptional comedy sketch. Anyway, enough of the automatic. We've heard uh, quite enough about them. But it got me thinking. There must be plenty of musicians that go on to have second careers after their popularity declines. But there must also be plenty of artists who don't make it until later on in life that have lived secret past lives. This intrigued me a fair bit, so I did some research, and uh, boy oh boy was I impressed with what I found. So it turns out that none other than Jack White of Frontman to the White Stripes fame has led a bit of a second life. Turns out that at the age of 15, he began a three-year upholstery apprenticeship with a family friend. He even credits his boss to exposing him to punk music as they worked together in the shop. The two of them even formed a band which was called, wait for it, The Upholsterers. (laughs) Flawless. You'd think that the uh, rest was history, but oh no, sadly the upholsterers didn't really take off. So instead, he started an upholstery business of his own, Third Man Upholstery. Sadly, Jack said that the business was unprofitable due to his complacency about money and his business practices that were perceived as unprofessional, which, get this, included making bills out in crayon (laughs) and writing poetry inside the furniture. I mean, to be honest, I can't say I'd really ever thought much about Jack White of uh, White Stripes fame before, but now I think I want him to be my best friend. What a legend.
Seven Nation Army, The White Stripes, complete with upholsterer Jack White on the vocals. Remember to text in your full names for the Juck Duck Register later in the show, either over on Instagram at isolation underscore radio or the website isolation hyphen station dot co dot uk. Easily on you, somebody. Isolation station. So, we spoke a little a couple of days ago about how we undoubtedly have a mole here at Isolation Station. We've yet to get to the bottom of this mystery, but we've seen plenty of uncannily similar features being used over at the British Broadcasting Corporation. Interesting. So the BBC, of course, today organised the Great British Sing-Along, where they picked Britain's biggest bangers to play across their radio networks. Yeah, it's not like we had a big discussion about what the UK's go-to sing-along banger should be. It's fine. I'm over it. I'm over it. It's fine. I'm flattered, truth be told. They kicked off with Neil Diamond, Sweet Caroline. Yep, we've had that. Then it was over to Prince, Raspberry Beret. Yep, 
remember that one too. We have that requested by the girls at Wild Frost Florists. Wild Frost, Fr- Wild Frost Florists. Wild Frost Florists. That is a tongue twister. Or maybe I just can't speak. Not sure. <laughs> then they had coffee with toast. Nope, that's not what I had for breakfast. That's what they played. Can't say I've ever heard of it. Then, to be fair, Absolute Anthem, Punjabi MC, Mundian Tubak K. You know, the one that goes... Yeah. Admittedly, that one didn't make it onto the Isolation Station playlist. Then, to round it off, we had... Uh, who is most likely the mole himself, Greg James, playing You Got the Love, Florence and the Machine. Well, Greg, I'm going to take it one step further. I'm going to play what is perhaps the best collaboration of all time. Florence and the Machine with Dizzy Rascal at the 2009 Brits. You got the dirty love. Everybody wants to be famous, nobody wants to be nameless, aimless, people act shameless, trying to live like entertainers, with the flat cream with the anchor, so the spare money that they ain't made yet, got a band to tick that they ain't paid yet, spend a paycheck, in the West End on the weekend, got no money by the end of the weekend, but they don't care cause their life is a movie, starving Louis V, paid for by yours truly, truthfully, it's a joke, like a brand ever saw the Holy Oaks, can't keep up with the cover no. so they got back credit, living on direct, they be in debt, they still don't get it cause they're too busy living the high life. The nightlife hugging the highway, living large and it all says Sometimes it seems the morning is just too rough And things are wrong no matter what I do That's right Now and then it seems like the life is just too much But you got the love I need to see me through Check it, yo, let me take you down to London City Where the attitude is bad, don't know whether it is Everybody's on the paper chase, just want a big fat race Everybody's got a screw face, so many two-faced they they're ready to ride up on the inside, looking at the So it's an actual reflection, sitting right north, east, west, and the south side Everywhere I go, there's a room on the corner Got a search, just got a city like a sauna And it's getting warmer, and now I'm water So the worst drug clear, pop up to a border There's no politician, can you tell me the solution? What's the answer? What's the conclusion? Is it an illusion? Is it I'm a rat? I see darkest now because they're trying to live large and it all says Sometimes I feel like my head's up in the air Got the Dirty Love, live at the Brit Awards, Florence the Machine and Dizzy Rascal. C Radio 1, two can play at this game. <laughs> too kind, too kind, please stop, there's no need, there's no need, there really isn't. Isolation Station. Right, so a few weeks ago we saw what appeared to be the majority of Europe going up against each other to see who could perform the best balcony banger. And in absence of Eurovision this year, it was a welcome sight. We had everything from a Spanish concert singing the uh, Zutons classic Valerie to some traditional Italian ballads in Rome. The UK's contribution, however, was admittedly incredibly poor. 
I think that the best uh, that we came up with was a bit of clapping and a dodgy rendition of Happy Birthday complete with an out-of-tune trumpet to celebrate a girl turning eight in Somerset. It just wasn't good enough, UK. I mean, come on! But it seems that perhaps we're past the point of singing along now. We're at that stage where we need to release more energy and singing just won't cut it. We've seen over the past week that countries have been uh, taking to balcony raves, which shall from this moment forth be known as Braves. Amsterdam started it because of course they did. And uh, don't get me wrong, they smashed it. Great stuff from the Dutch. But then the baton was passed to Newcastle, no less, who also opted to get involved with the uh, Brave culture. And I'm not exaggerating by saying that it's one of the finest things I've ever seen. Somebody filmed a block of flats with a drone, and uh, pretty much everyone was getting involved. Flats were adorned with uh, disco lights and failing that Christmas lights, strobes and even inflatables. There was one flat that obviously let everybody down, but I'll overlook that, thanks to the greatness of the other participants. Plus, they're going to be the real losers, as the residents have said that they're planning on having three discos a week. I mean, it really is incredible. They'd even got a conference call going across uh, everyone that was involved so that they could all party together. God bless the Geordies. Right, so I think it only makes sense that we now play a tune that should be a staple of everybody's balcony raves. So sing along together. You all know the words. As a reminder, they're very simple. Duh, 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 duh. Everyone get low. You know what's coming up. Here we go. Jump, 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 jump. Thank you. 
isolation station. Darude Sandstorm. And what in the middle there was uh, my impression of what I imagine a uh, Cambridge club DJ to sound like. I don't need to imagine. I've been to a Cambridge club. And I can guarantee that's exactly what they sound like. Jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. Now, if you weren't raving along to that one at home, uh, all I'll say is that I'm disappointed in you. And frankly, you should be disappointed in yourself. Right, I'm not going to lie, I'd almost forgotten that it's uh, National Ferret Day, my deepest apologies. To make up for it, have another fun ferret fact on the house. Did you know that ferrets were domesticated 2,500 years ago? Mental. Right, another tune. This one has Sophie Ellis Bexter describing what I can only imagine just occurred following that sandstorm mania. Murder on the dance floor. Murder on the dance floor But you better not kill the groom DJ Gonna burn this goddamn house right down Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know About your What's it like in revs? Hey, Tabes, you know, the usual absolute murder on the dance floor. <laughs> Our classic revs. I know, right, the only thing that can make it any more mental is, like, George Ezra. Shut up. I know the DJ. I could totally make that happen. No way. Oh, my God, mate, that would be insane. Just a snippet from the inside of a Cambridge club there. Homegrown alligator, see you later. Gotta hit the road, gotta hit the road. The sun and change in the atmosphere, architecture unfamiliar. I could get used to this. 
time flies by in the yellow and green Stick around and you'll see what I mean There's a mountain top that I'm dreaming of If you need me, you know where I'll be I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun Feeling like a someone I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun Feeling like a someone We're South of the equator navigator Gotta hit the road, gotta hit the road See diving round the clock, bikini bottoms, lager tops. I could get used to this. Time flies by in the yellow and green. Stick around and you'll see what I mean. There's a mountain top that I'm dreaming of. If you need me, you know where I'll be. I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like a someone. I totally called shotgun first. No, dude, don't be like that. You know you can't do it until you see the car. I don't know what that impression is, to be honest. I thought it was funny. George Ezra, shotgun. Make sure to text in your full names on Instagram at isolation underscore radio or on the website isolation-station.co.uk because up next, it's the duck register. She played the fiddle in an Irish band but she fell in love with an English man. Kissed her on the neck and then I took her by the hands of baby, I just want to dance. I met her on Grafton Street, right outside of the bar. She shared a cigarette with me while her brother played the guitar. She asked me, what does it mean? The Gaelic kink on your arm said it was one of my friend's songs. Do you want to drink on? She took Jamie as a chaser. Jack for the fun She got Arthur on the table With Johnny riding a shotgun Chatted some more One more drink at the bar Then put Van on the jukebox Got up to dance You know she played a fiddle In an Irish band But she fell in love With an Englishman Kissed her on the neck And then I took her by the hands And baby I just wanna dance With my pretty little girl And then she kissed me like there was nobody else in the room As last orders were called was when she stood on the stool After dancing to Kaylee singing to trad tunes I never heard Carrick Fergus ever sung so sweet A cappella in the bar using her feet for a beat Oh I could have that voice playing on repeat for a week And in this packed out room where she was singing to me You know she played her fiddle in an Irish band But she fell in love with an Englishman Kissed her on the neck and then I took her by the hand And baby I just wanna dance My pretty little girl Our coats both smell of smoke, whiskey and wine As we fill up her lungs with the cold air of the night I walked her home, then she took me inside To finish some Doritos and another bottle of wine I swear I'm gonna put you in a song that I write About a go-away girl and a perfect night She played the fiddle in an Irish band But she fell in love with an Englishman Kissed her on the neck and then I took her by the hands And baby, I just wanna dance My pretty little go-away girl Nash 
National Treasure, Ed Sheeran. Go away, girl. Isolation Station. Okay, so earlier in the show, I asked you to tell me your full names so that we could blatantly plagiarise one of the kings of radio, Mr. Chris Moyles' segment. So here it is, everybody. Isolation Station's first and last, lest we get approached by Moyles' lawyers, Duck Register. Now, I will admit that um, I didn't quite get as many names as uh, Moyles probably does. Most probably sharing a surname. Turns out that most of you listening don't want to disclose who you are. I mean, it's fair enough. Neither would I, to be honest. Right, so in preparation, I'm going to turn on the Barbara Streisand voice filter. Hang on. Here Here it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, lovely. (laughs) High quality production here at Isolation Station. Right, here we go. Iris Buddle. Riley Marchant. Holly Turner. Martha Peterson. Jenny Baradell. Beth and Gurr. Emily Marchant Eliza Peterson Rye Turner Claire Stanley Joey McCarthy Sophie Foster Linda Lawton Michael Stanley Kathleen Stanley Holly Turner Lucy Robb James Robb Mum Dad Sister Lucky the dog Alright, I think that's quite enough if I'm honest with you Thanks for texting in everybody I had too much fun doing that if I'm honest with you I just like the robot voice filter I put on Barbara Streisand Yeah alright Barbara, you get enough Isolation Station Face down, booty up, timber. That's the way we like. 
that thing club jumping like LeBron now. Bowl it, order me another round. Home it, we about to clown. Why? Cause it's about to go down. Swing your partner round and round. And then the night is going down. One more shot, another round. Timber, Pitbull, Kesha. Now, two of you, and uh, I don't use this phrase lightly, are appalled that I missed you out of the duck register. So, and this is for one night only. Do not expect this to become a thing. You're going to get a Timber duck register. Marcus Dell. Billy Horn. Isolation Station. Right, that's quite enough of all of that silliness. Okay. As much as we love you, Pitbull, you're not in the Shrek soundtrack, so a cheerio. Welcome all, welcome to that time of the show affectionately termed the Shrek Seg. It's a simple segment. No gimmicks, no tricks, no robot voices, (laughs) just Shrek. As we're all aware, the Shrek soundtrack tunes are all, in fact, banned from Desert Island Discs because otherwise everybody would just list the default best tracks of all time, Shrek 2, and uh, move on with their lives. You may also not know that the uh, Shrek soundtrack tunes are not allowed in the UK charts because they'd uh, all just be at number one the whole time and it wouldn't be fair on Ed Sheeran. True story, not many people know that. Not fake news. Now, today's track is slightly mellower in nature but no less boppable. So, I ask you all, please slam your fists onto the table while enjoying a meal with the king and queen of far, far away. Tell your donkeys to stop flirting with their dragon mistresses and get those pesky three little pigs out of your respective swamps. She said, God, I'll be honest You're wasting your time if you're fishing around here and I said, must be mistaken. I'm not fooling. This feeling is real. She said, You've got to be crazy. What do you take me for? Some kind of easy mark. You've got wits, you've got looks, you've got passion, but I swear that you got me all.
As Lovers Go Dashboard Confessional Obviously mostly known for being a presence of the Shrek 2 soundtrack Shout out to Dominic Walsh, big fan of the show, avid listener and all-round fan of the Shrek segment Isolation Station Right, it's good news time, y'all It's that time of the show where we consider some of the good that is going on in the world The bad can sometimes just steal a little too much of the limelight Now, I promise that today's good news story will not feature anything to do with Uber's fictitious dog driver service. A rather unbelievable April Fool, so I thought. And that was until my uh, good friend Holly texted me, having caught up on the show online, and she said, I believed the Uber dog story until you said it was an April Fool at the end. I thought it meant that they were sat on the real driver's knee. I must add that uh, Holly is an exceptionally clever human, just a rather gullible one. So, some real life good news now. So, a fella called Haydar El Ali has single handedly been planting mangrove trees in Senegal for the past 10 years. The 67 year old retired Minister of Ecology in Senegal has now been working since 2009 to restore an entire Senegalese mangrove swamp. He rallied citizens from the local coastal population to help him plant a total of 152 million mangrove buds by hand, and it created a stunning mangrove forest stretching hundreds of square miles, one of the largest of its kind in the world. The original forest was disrupted in the 80s and 90s as the nation began to build roads which diverted or ended the flows of rivers. And he said, I take a lot of satisfaction from this. I'm ready to do it every day, all evening, all of my life. I think we could all take a leaf out of Mr. Ali's book.
Friend Garfunkel, Mrs. Robinson. Isolation Station. Well, thanks so much for tuning in again, everyone. That's been Unlucky Show number 13. I can only apologise for the frankly disgraceful quantity of ferret related news in today's show on this National Ferret Day. Archie Manners will be back with you tomorrow with special guest Casper Lee. He'll be on from 3 till 4 pm. Of course, I'll be back, as always, from 7pm for a solid helping of Friday Wind Down Tunes. But time for one more tonight. A tune to remind us to love one another and that love really is the best medicine. I never thought I'd miss you Half as much as I do Every night, every day I know that it's you I need To take the blues away It must be love, love, love It must be love, love, love Nothing more, nothing less Love is the best How can it be that we can so much without words Bless you and bless me Bless the bees and the birds It must be love. Thanks again for listening, everyone. I genuinely appreciate you all tuning in every day to my dulcet tones. Remember to get to your windows, because in one minute's time is the clap for key workers. But that's all for me tonight. So until 7pm tomorrow, make sure to consider all the ferrets in your life. Isolation Station. Isolation.